So coding boot camps, what are they? Are they actually worth it or not? So what is a coding bootcamp? It's an accelerated program where they teach you in-demand software skills that are generally not really taught in college. And these are for a highly specific area of interest, such as web development. They're usually three months long, and some of the most popular ones are Hack Reactor, App Academy, Lambda School, and Flatiron School. So why are coding bootcamps around? Well, in today's market, there's a pretty big skill gap in trying to fill engineering positions. Engineers are highly in demand and there aren't enough people to actually go and build products. Now, another reason is to build software, you only really need a computer. You don't need any fancy physical equipment or anything that might be really expensive. You just need one device and the internet. This means that for a coding bootcamp to put on their program, all they really need is a space to put people if they're not doing it remotely. Now, the last reason is that there's a high return on investment for you if you come to this coding bootcamp. You pay about $20,000 up front generally, and then you make about sixty dollars to $100,000 in your first job. This is valuable for both the student and the school, because all the school really needs to provide is three months of their time, and that's it. Now, another question is how do people pay for coding boot camps? Well, there are three main options. The first option is taking out a loan for both the coding boot camp and living expenses during that time, as well as probably a handful of months afterwards. You still need time for the job search and you can't just survive on three months alone. It'll probably take up to six months to a year from the time you start coding to get that first job. Now, another option is the upfront option. You can just pay the $20,000 roughly upfront and call it a day, but not a lot of people have the money saved up, and you also need to think about how much your living expenses are going to cost during the bootcamp again and after the bootcamp. Now, the third option, which is pretty interesting, is you pay a percentage of your starting salary upfront for the two years after you get your first job. And generally with these programs, there's no risk to you if you don't get a job. But sometimes these contracts can be a little weird. If you get a job that isn't in the tech industry but still meets the requirements, they can still take a portion of your salary upfront. This is a good option for people who don't want to take out hefty loans in order to go to a bootcamp and potentially not land a job from this. Now, coding bootcamps operate in all different cities across the United States and the world for that matter, as well as they offer remote programs. So there's a question, does location matter with these coding bootcamps? Personally, I think it does. I went to a coding bootcamp in San Francisco in the middle of the tech industry, and I was able to network with people from Airbnb and Uber who the coding bootcamp brought in to talk to us. That was a great opportunity that probably wouldn't happen if I went to the coding bootcamp in a city like Los Angeles. Now this is an opinion, but you'll probably have much better chances of getting a job if you go to a city that's well known for its tech industry, whether that's San Francisco, Seattle, Austin, or New York City, over LA or Denver, which aren't really well known for their tech industries. This will probably give you much more opportunity to actually meet a software engineer in person, pick their brain, get to know about the industry, and probably get a referral to one of the tech companies. Now, these are the things that they don't tell you when you go to a coding bootcamp. So the first thing is that coding bootcamps really don't teach you much. They provide an environment for learning, they provide you with some material, but you're really the one who has to self-teach yourself throughout the whole program. For example, the coding bootcamp I went to, the first six weeks were comprised of two-day projects where it was all self-taught. There were some, there was some instruction, but really not too much. And then the second half was a self-guided project based on anything you could choose from without much guidance as well. So pretty much it's, it's really good to go here because they give you an environment and a structure and they apply pressure, but they're really not force feeding you any information. A lot of it is you learning on your own, reviewing the material and putting it into practice. Now, the next thing they don't really tell you is that there aren't as many jobs as you think in the industry. For junior engineers, there is a huge demand for people to get these jobs and not enough supply of them. So overall, you're going to be competing with people who have college degrees, who have had much more experience than you, and they've probably also had internships as well, which you're probably not gonna have when you go into here, at least in the tech area. Now, the next thing you should know is that statistics for job placement from coding boot camps are all manufactured. Some coding bootcamps boast that they have a 99% job placement rate in six months after the coding bootcamp ends. Now, some coding bootcamps will employ people who graduated to help run their programs after the fact, and this factors into their job placement rate. Now, the next thing is that they have a pretty rigorous application process, which means that they basically only accepted people who they think will get jobs after the coding bootcamp. 
Now the job search is basically the hardest part of the coding bootcamp itself, and you pretty much have no guidance throughout this whole thing, so it's up to you to figure it out on your own. And that's another thing they don't really tell you. They really don't help you out at all after you finish the coding bootcamp. Now this is kind of the fun part, but it's only the beginning. You have an infinite amount of things to learn after you leave the coding bootcamp. They basically give you general proficiency in order to build basic web apps, which is probably all that you need for the first job. But as you ramp up throughout the years, you really need to be learning as much as possible. So it's not the end. Now, do I think the coding bootcamp was worth it? Well, it depends. So I think it was the, really the next step that I needed to get into the industry, but Ultimately, the first half was probably enough to get my first job. I didn't really need the second half of the course, and I actually started applying to jobs right after the first half ended, because I knew I wanted a job as soon as possible. Now, this is completely possible to learn on your own. I would say that Free Code Camp is one of the best resources on the web that mirrors a coding bootcamp, but is completely free. I'll drop that in the description down below. I would at least recommend, if you want to go to a coding bootcamp, to get your feet wet with Free Code Camp to see if you actually enjoy coding. When I was researching to go to a coding bootcamp, I reached out to a bunch of people on LinkedIn who had been through them and talked to them personally over the phone. I wanted to get as much information as I could about coding bootcamps so that I could make the best decision for me. If you're curious about coding bootcamps and want to talk more, shoot me a DM on Instagram, at Matt Upham, and we can chat. I'll give you a phone call, we can talk, I'll give you as much information as possible that I have. This might help influence your decision, whether it's to go to a coding bootcamp or not, but I really think making an objective decision is the most important. Bootcamps truly are the fastest way to becoming a software developer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out my other video on the fastest way to get into the software engineering industry.